Hello, nippies. Welcome back. What's up, guys? And if you're new here and you're not a nipple, what are you doing? You have two or one or none, but the more the merrier, right? <laughs> Welcome. Today, we are going to be working on some more Patreon postcards. Woo! For those of you that don't know, I do have a comic called Off Cell. It is free to read. It's 18 plus, so please police yourself while reading. Make sure that you're just not walking in blind, you know what I'm saying? But it is free to read. It's on Tapastic, Webtoons, censored because there's some scenes that are pretty explicit. And uh, on offcellcomic.com, uncensored because that's the main webpage. I do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash offcell, where you guys support the comic, not just the comic, but me as well. So thank you guys so much for putting a roof over my head, supporting my passion, supporting my art. And there I have a tier that gets a custom postcard made and sent to them monthly you guys get to pick the characters of course that you like you can change them every month whatever you want that's what these are and so with this video though you will see that I only did one of them because I got really tilted on stream and you guys will see that I'm 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 excited to show you this not because I think it's good but because it's a very real process you know I got really tilted it took me like an hour and a half to draw one face. Like I went through all sorts of roller coaster emotions creating this and then I ended up creating this one off stream. So unfortunately I do not have the video content for this one, but I will show you the content for this one nonetheless. The theme for these was screen tones. It's the first time I ever used screen tones. My dear friend, I thank you so much for giving me the screen tones. She had them lying around and I've always wanted to try them. So I did it on deleter paper. I fucking went ahead and uh, used the screen tones. I used a G pen everything like I want to do the whole fucking shebang and so that's what this process is about I try to pick little themes to go with each set of postcards so that they like each time each month that I do them they feel unified like part of a set so that even when the individual parties have their own postcards they feel like they belong still together so that's pretty much what is going on with these but yeah let's let me stop rambling and get into the video guys hopefully you enjoy Hello guys, welcome to the speed paint. So I'm gonna start off by going over all the materials that I used for this uh, postcard. I did do a little bit something different for these. So I kind of want to go over what I used. I wanted to go for this kind of like authentic manga feel. And I have a lot of the mangaka supplies with me. I have my deleter paper, which can draw the manga pages on. I have my screen tones which were a gift from a friend which I had never messed with before until these postcards and you'll see how hectic that turns out to be. I have some of my inks here, my India inks. I have uh, my pen tip cleaner. I have my G pen nibs that I attach to my pens. That's pretty much the materials that we are working from. I did some of the thumbnails earlier over in this red sketchbook, which we did a sketchbook tour of. So if you guys wanna see the sketchbook tour of that, I will put that in the upper right hand corner. The theme was kind of like them in suits, like Pim and Enzo in suits. And I thought it was gonna be extremely easy, but for some reason, I really, <laughs> I could not draw his face angle. Guys, like, I could not. When I tell you that I could not do it, I could not do it. I spent an hour and a half trying to get his face angle correct. And you'll see here that I just go over and over, re restart, redraw, erase, restart, redraw. And eventually I got so tilted on stream. I ended up just kind of like taking a picture of myself and uh, doodling it in a sketchbook to kind of practice to get away from this drawing. And for the poses, I actually thought Enzo's was a lot e uh, a lot harder, which ironically was easier than this because as you can see, I've already redrawn and restarted this face more than 10 times.
it got to a point where I just kind of had to break it down into shapes, which I usually don't always have to do, but if I'm really, really frustrated, sometimes I'll just straight go into shapes. You see in the bottom corner, you see me take a picture of myself right there. Um, and then I just kind of draw myself out and it, it was so quick. It was so quick. I drew myself so fast and I was so ashamed that I had done that so fast and I could not get Pim's face to look correct. You'll notice that about a third of this speed paint is just me trying to get the face right. I get like an interesting angle here. I use the light box to kind of map out the face and just try to bring it over to a scrap paper because I get to the point where the paper is being messed up by how many times I'm erasing and drawing, erasing and drawing, erasing and drawing. So I just bring it over to a normal paper and just transfer it over after I've had um, my free time on the scrap paper. I'm not entirely happy with how it came out, but I think at this point it was just like a compromise. <laughs> like bitch, you spent two hours drawing a face. Like this, you know, maybe stop. <laughs> maybe fucking retire, you know? Either way, I do like kind of the whole vibe. And this was only step one because I had never used screen tones before. And I was about to ink with the G pen nib, which if you've never used is definitely a learning curve. And I had used it a lot before, but it had been a long time since I had. And so it was going to be a little bit before I got used to it again. And I kind of understood you know where where to put the pressure how often to clean how often to dip and like that took me a bit and i think that was like another <laughs> another moment of frustration i was just trying to get the g pen to work with me I think this whole postcard was a bundle of frustration in almost every single step. Every single step of the way, it was something, you know? The, the undersketch, the pencils, the inks, the freaking screen tones, everything was just <laughs> a giant mess. And so if you guys caught that there on his collar, that's um, GB's logo because GB's very nice and uh, super generous, very sweet. And she has one of the postcard tiers over on Patreon. So she always asks for this character. And so I decided to just kind of uh, squeeze in her logo there on his on his collar. I was having a lot of trouble here with the G pen getting it to the thickness that I wanted. I take a lot of pride and a lot of like care when I do my lines. And for some reason, I just could not get the thickness that I wanted. And I switched, ended up switching over to the Micron just to kind of get the rest of the lines and finish everything up because it was just not working. <laughs> I switch over to the brush here to kind of get some organic lines and I wing them, which I probably shouldn't have done. I really should not have winged those lines because they just did not look as flowy as I wanted them to. I did not plan the trajectory. It's like, oh, fuck it. It'll come out great. And then it didn't. <laughs> Cut some of the screen tone here. I want to do some backlighting. And so I just went ahead and uh, created this like gradient type backlighting feel. I ended up having to use this X-Acto knife, which was already blunt and I didn't have another blade and I couldn't find the one that worked. And so I just had to kind of use this one, which was pretty disappointing because I couldn't get the, the shadows I wanted. I tried to use the same screen tone that I did for him on the smoke and it just, it made the drawing look so flat. And so eventually, <laughs> eventually I just took it off and went with another screen tone. I tried to go with something lighter and more different just to add a little variety there. And I did like this one a lot better. Not that it made like a super huge difference, but it definitely added that nice variety that I liked. Thank you. 
at this point i left the edges kind of open i know it's unbalanced but it has like the deleter like text on the side and i really liked it i thought it was like a nice accent to it it was throwing off the balance of the page a little and so i was trying to find a way to get it to like just not do that And eventually I just decided to go with this red background here to kind of just solidify the whole postcard. The other one that I finished as well, I ended up doing it off stream and that postcard actually came out much better in my opinion. I did it much faster as well. I got kind of used to the process. I was a little less tilted. It's very rare that I have to turn off a stream because I'm tilted. It's very easy for me to get tilted and more than likely I'll push through. You guys have helped me on stream to kind of just stay on there, push through. It was really fun. I really enjoyed the theme of these. I do want to mess with the screen tones a little bit more with the inking style more as well it was just a fun set of postcards and um yeah <laughs> hopefully this wasn't too much of a mess all right team hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought down below again if you want to read the comic check it out go ahead to offsellcomic.com the comic is also free to read on webtoons and tapastic it's censored there of course lots of um explicit scenes so can't post it there and thank you deep deep thank you to everyone on patreon who supports me the comic my art creation and my art journey i really do appreciate it you put not only a roof over my head but you allow the creation of this comic and art in general to be possible so thank you so much to everyone over there hopefully you enjoyed that and i will see you guys next video